Hey guys, Cam from Barbecue Street Road Test Series. I'm gonna run you through some great heat resistant glove options when you are cooking. So we're gonna start off with the actual process of taking the meat off the barbecue. Really handy to have these. Now these are just cotton liners. Now the reason we use these in conjunction with nitrile gloves is that it's a heat barrier. So it actually stops heat penetrating through the nitrile glove and it allows you to actually get in there Pull the meat, do what you need to do. The nitrile gloves and the reason we use black is because black, when you use black nitrile gloves, you just cook better. Nitrile gloves, however, are powder free. They um, don't have a heap of grip in them and they don't get sticky. So they're very, very handy to use. I even use them in the preparation phase to save having to wash hands constantly. Another really great option when handling hot food are these neoprene gloves. These are chemical resistant. So really, really good. You get a lot of dexterity from them. They go up a bit higher. So when you're really getting in there and pulling apart that pork or slicing through beef, these are really, really handy. Or just getting it off the grill itself. Used in conjunction with nitrile gloves. So nitrile gloves to carve, these to actually get the meat off. The lining inside is heat resistant and they're reusable. They're washable. So really, really handy bit of kit. Now, of course, handling hot charcoal or handling wood as it's burning is never fun without gloves. The main option would be a welding type glove. So these are suede or leather and they have a lining inside. This allows you to generally pick up a hot heat source or a grill um, without burning yourself. Now, you can't hold on for too long with these and they do have a little bit of resistance in them being leather or suede. They're a little bit stiffer. So I like to use these awesome gloves from Flaming Coals. These are heat resistant. In there, that heat barrier there allows you to pick up boiling hot things without burning yourself. I pick up wood out of a wood fire oven, quickly move it, or I can even hold it for about a two, two to three seconds, which is just long enough to move it around without burning myself. So these are really handy and they cut off quite high. So when you're reaching into an oven, or you're really worried about burning the upper part of your arm, these are really, really handy.